Hey, it's me Slater. I know I haven't been really active on making videos here on YouTube. My last upload was four months ago, but my last real video that I actually edited and everything was just over two years ago. And that was a Valorant video as well during my VTuber days. I'm here to making a video as just a quick update on what's going on, how things are going and the future of this channel. First things first, update what's going on. Clearly, I haven't been posting videos at all, mainly due to that is time, lack of motivation, video ideas, all sorts of excuses that make me not want to edit anything. It, I'm still keeping up with streaming though, since that's way easier for me. However, I'm not consistent with that. I'll stream for like maybe two or three weeks straight with a proper stream schedule. Then I don't stream for maybe like a week to a month, maybe two months, and I'll do that again and again and again and again. Again, a bunch of excuses on why I'm not consistent with that as well. But when I do stream or edit a video, I have a blast and I try to give it my all. One of the very big excuses is a lack of motivation. I hate being in that mental state of not being motivated. I, <laughs> I need to unlock my, my uh, inner Virgil, if you know what I mean. And so for the past several months, I've been trying to find something to motivate me, or at least give me a reason that the stuff I really like to do isn't a waste of time. Sounds dark, I know, but trust me, it gets better. Another big change, if you have been watching my streams, is my VTuber model. Where is my VTuber model? Well, when I started back in December 2019, I made a VTuber model just to have a present to look at, as well as hearing the reaction on what's happening on screen. I was not comfortable showing my face on camera, at least when I stream. I'm comfortable showing my face in other parts, but like just streaming personally at my home, I'm just not comfortable with that. So that's why I had a VTuber, so you have at least a face to look at and see the reactions I'm pretty much making, as well as, you know, hearing my own voice. And my VTuber wasn't crazy looking either. It was not like some celestial being or like a cat boy or whatever. Didn't have a gimmick or a persona. I made my VTuber to look just like me, or at least try to with the long hair and to wear a hoodie all the time. But the reason why I'm not VTubing anymore is because back in the first week of January of this year, 2024, I was having a, a really weird PC issue to the point where I had to reinstall Windows and everything else. I couldn't back up my files, so with that, I lost everything. I lost all my VTuber, my icons, my images, my soundboard from when I edit videos, literally everything. It was like a fresh, um, it was a fresh reinstall or booting up a computer for the first time after just building it. So that's just a quick update portion on what's been happening. So let's just move on what's going on. Bottom line, I want to try to make videos again. This has always been fun to do. And I think the videos that I edited in the past kind of show that. It's just me playing around, editing with the editing software, figuring stuff out, as well as trying to make it entertaining. Unfortunately, those videos do take some time to edit. And it's also been done before the type of vibe I was trying to do with my videos. Going for like a sort of over edited meme type stuff. I still want to make more videos in that fashion. But again, I just, I just need like a good recording and time to edit it. Hint, hint, I may have something recorded for Wednesday to make that happen again, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes and everything. I think the best way, at least for right now, if I want to make more videos, is making updates like this one and this video right here. I know update videos aren't entertaining, but I think they're easy to make. And two, it would help me get back into the swing of things. I don't have to worry about weekly uploads or trying to make a video on time. I can just make them when I want. And these updates be more of my personal progress. And I'll get to that on what I mean in just a moment. But just be aware, it's going to be update videos for now. I don't know in the future, but for right now, it's going to be update videos. So if you don't want to see that, you can unsubscribe. Or if you knew and want to see that, hit subscribe. It doesn't matter to me. This is just a personal this this is something at a personal level as weird as it sounds but something that i want to do real quick for the people that really know me or don't know me rather i grew up with two genres of video games mainly two genres of video games 
One is uh, FPS's, and the other are fighting games. And still, 20 something years later, guess what? FPS's and fighting games are still what I enjoy today. GoldenEye on the Nintendo 64 would have piqued my interest, but the big major one was Halo Combat Evolve on the original Xbox. That made me love first person shooters. With fighting games, it was Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3 on the Sega Genesis that piqued my interest. But it was Tekken Tag Torment 1 on my PlayStation 2 that made me really love fighting games. However, I leaned towards FPS more than I did with fighting games because the people I hung out with. They were more into Halo, Call of Duty, more so than Street Fighter or Tekken. There were a couple of my friends that I'm still friends with today that are also interested in fighting games. They're, they're, in, they're still into the memes, they still keep up with the latest news, they still watch some tournaments, but they don't really play them. Not as much as me. We're, we're not like going to each other's houses, hey, you wanna play some uh, Street Fighter 6 or something, you know? But they still, they, still, they still enjoy them and I still talk to them to this day. But I always had an interest in being part of a being part of the community instead of just watching it. I always want to partake in that, I guess, family, you know, just being around people playing games locally. And and you know, getting good at them. However, it wasn't until like Tekken 6 where I would try to learn to play these games. But I put Tekken 6 on the side. Because my competitor drive was, again, towards FPS, like Halo, Gears of War, Call of Duty. Of course, I played Street Fighter 4 and other fighting games on the side, button mashing. But Tekken 6 was like the very first game where I tried to actually learn how to play these games. And I'm not going to bore with continuing all of my history of fighting games and whatnot. But basically, just like from 2009 to 2010, I wanted to be part of a local and it wasn't really until August of 2022 where I met that local. My first offline event was at a Tekka 7 event in 2018, but that didn't really stick around too long. Something happened. I'm not going to talk into it, but it, it was really the, the the family that I'm with. I keep saying family, but I guess they are family. I don't know. The the, the community that I that I am with today is what really, I guess, made me want to make this video part of it or most of it, well, whatever. Now, the reason why I'm making this video after being with these guys and playing fighting games for a while, I haven't really leveled up my skill at all. I guess you can say I'm an online warrior. <laughs> I do well online, but terrible offline when I play these guys. Hell, I do terrible when I do online brackets. But when I just boot up matchmaking and, you know, just play with my brain off, hey, I'm, I'm doing well and having a blast. But when I play with these guys, man, I'm getting my ass kicked. And at first I was okay with that. And I was thinking, well... Maybe I'll naturally get better when I play these guys all the time. You know, pulling up to the local every Saturday, I'll just naturally get better. But after so long, I can see that I have not leveled up my game at all. And it kind of left me in the dust. Everyone around me was getting better and better and better, whereas I was not improving at all. And yesterday, on April 27, 2024, at my local monthly, I realized that I needed to fix that. I'm still passively playing these games on the side. I'm like playing a fighting game, you know, once or twice a week while I'm playing other games mainly. Like I recently picked up Destiny 2. That's a mistake. <laughs> but I, I am slowly enjoying getting Destiny, but I have to change that. I can be playing Destiny four or five times a week or Halo four or five times a week or something. And then play Guilty Gear one week, Uni the other week, Marvel, the, you know, once a week. You know, I can't be doing that. So I had to switch that around and make fighting games my main focus while I'm playing Destiny maybe once or twice a week for like a couple hours, you know, and really focus my on fighting games. Now, I don't want to be the best fighting game player in the world or on the top 1% of players, but I want to do well enough where I can hold out my own, get out of pools consistently and get some free Chipotle because who doesn't want a free Chipotle meal? I want to visually see my progress, so this is why I'm making these update videos. It's to, it's to be it's, it's going to be my progress arc. I'm the main character here. This is my training arc at 29 years old. Oh god, what am I doing with my life? And to see if I can really improve once I set my mind to it. And this is episode zero of I don't even know what to even call it. I'll think of something for now, but I guess I'll call it 
I, I don't know, come on and jam and, and wake up with a mash? Episode zero? I, 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 I don't know. If you have any better names, please let me know in the comments. I guess I need to finish this final thoughts here. I'm definitely not a bad fighting game player. Despite me putting these games as like my side games, I don't think I'm that bad as a player. At least I don't think that way. My mental is not that down bad. But based on my recent online warrior status, <laughs> I'm <laughs> I'm a celestial in strife, I'm purple ranks in Tekken 8, I'm S rank in Grand Blue, I'm platinum in Street Fighter 6, which is not saying much, but I barely touch the game as it is. Even though having a random color or number or title next to my name doesn't really mean anything in fighting games, especially compared to when playing offline, where none of that shit matters, I personally don't care what's next to my name. However, it does give me somewhat indication on where I am at as a fighting game player. And somewhat, and I somewhat understand, I guess, the theory behind these games. At least that's what I like to think. So it was easy for me for myself to set expectations and possibly understand what work needs to be done. That's it really. Um, that's the video. I really want to give a huge personal shout out to Tom aka Tigras. He's inspired me slash like refuel my motivation on making pages again since he started his to make his own series called Local Motives and his journey at getting good at Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3. If you really like Marvel, I highly suggest you go check this stuff out. I'll link this latest video in the description. Shout out to Tigras, I love you. Another shout out was uh, is is to Dan, aka uh, Violence Jones. He really put a smile on my face, and seeing this man grinding Strive, um, right after I think it was like right after, like right before. No, I, I want to say it's right after. Like right after I, I I posted a tweet saying like, oh, I went O2 and. Grand Blue, O2 in Tekken 8, O2 in uh, in Uni 2, O2 in Marvel, I'm ready for combo breaker. Even though I'm not really upset, maybe I was kind of annoyed, but seeing what he put, what Violent just posted yesterday of him reaching the gates of Celestial really put a smile on my face and really like kind of cheered me up. I legit watched him grow with great interest, insert meme here, post edit, and I hope the advice I gave him did help him on his journey. But of course, he did a lot of the heavy lifting. He got better at playing Giovanna. He got better at his input, his pressure to, to make it to Celestial, right? That's, that's, that's a pretty big, you know, achievement. Which again, he, like, he it was him seeing that inspired me to start making this video, just to see, to see myself also progress and get better as a fighting game player, just to watch my own journey. So shout out to you, Dan, seriously. Of course, people around me is also getting better. Like again, T guys getting better at Marvel. We have other people getting better at Street Fighter, Uni Two, KOF. You know, like just it just shout out to you guys as well, seriously. But it was just like me seeing Dan, I guess, progress little by little was really like it was really cool. Another shout out was to is to Brainiac on the Horizon Rookie Discord for Marvel, even though he's no rookie no more. I don't know him personally, and he doesn't know he does not know me. But yesterday he attended his first ever tournament, uh, local bracket tournament, whatever. That's a mouthful. And seeing him take pictures and just enjoying to be there, having a blast, experiencing his first local. Again, around the same time after I saw Violence Jones uh, posted that he got to Celestial, put a smile on my face and like really kind of turn my frown upside down so shout outs to you brainiac you don't know me but hey if you're watching this shout outs to you really really wholesome i, I love seeing that um hope i look good in those pictures so i, I see I, I did see you take one at least one and of course i cannot the big shout out to the long island fighting game community all the tos the attendees i could go on forever and list the guys up but you guys have really made this fun for me for the past couple of years I wish I met you guys sooner. Despite all the stories I heard and the bad times you guys went through, still I think I would have been it would have been cool to be part of that community sooner rather than later. But better late than never, right? It's cool and having that privilege of a local scene big enough where even strong players like the like the the twenty twenty three Evo champion Hikari just pulls up. You know, it's crazy to me. 
or like other strong players like Yurika will come up once in a while for KOF. Like that's that's insane to me. And not that many people have that privilege, let alone a local scene, right? So I'm very thankful. So shout out to you guys, seriously. Um, and th that's about it. Uh, I guess last thing I want to say, expect the next update video to be for Comma Breaker or after Comma Breaker. Again, I'm not going to stress myself out when I schedule these videos, but I do want to make them consistent to an extent to at least view my progress little by little. So I do want to see that. If you do want to watch my progress live, I am going to try and stream as often as I can. Streaming schedule is going to be Tuesday through through Friday around like 5 p.m., 5.30 p.m. up until 9 p.m. I don't know if I'll be streaming fighting games for like four hours straight because that seems a lot of work, but we'll see how it is. We'll see how it goes, but that's the stream schedule. I'll put my stream in the description as well, which will also have the stream schedules if you want to watch my progress live. Otherwise, expect the next update video around comma breaker before or after. I don't know yet. We'll see. But that is that. Anyway, I'm out. Adios. Yeah, it was, right, it was a lot um, of fun. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. I thought it'd be. Slater, look, I, you're so spoopy. I'm so what? Slater is scary. So spoopy. So spoopy, so scary. Honestly, so every time scary. I got a kill on you, Slater, I'm like, yes! <laughs> <laughs>